<laughs> Hi everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Today I would like to share with you my favorites for June. This is gonna be my first video of this type, so please support me and don't be judgmental. <laughs> so, let's start. Uh, I want to start with a dry shampoo. Uh, I think dry shampoo is a totally a must for all girls, um, no matter whether you're studying or working or just chilling at home. Um, I think sometimes we just all need an instant, you know, a refreshment for our hair, even if we washed it just yesterday or even this morning, depending on your hair type, of course. So what I really about, like about this one particularly, because now there are so many brands which are, you know, offering them. Uh, this one is 100%, I swear on my life, this one is 100% sheer and invisible. And I think this is really great because I do not enjoy this, you know, white powder or uh, white dust, whatever you call it, after Batiste. So this is my choice. And this one also has a very a subtle, you know, kind of tropical fragrance. This is called Rio particularly, but they also have the one like Paris and uh, New York, I think the Tokyo. I quite like Tokyo as well. I think Tokyo had like a floral fragrance, but this one is quite nice. Please uh, pay attention. Uh, it is available. I think I bought bought it in um, either Booth or Superdrug, I don't remember particularly, but either way it's available in both shops. So please pay attention, it's really, really cool. Uh, moving on, I want to tell you about uh, Marc Jacobs Concealer. You might remember whoever have seen my first video about my makeup routine. Um, so I've started to use this one on the 20th of June. Now it's 4th of July, so I've used it less, a little bit less than two weeks. Uh, however, I must say, in terms of texture and in terms of how comfortable it is on my eyes during the day, uh, I'd say it's one of my favorite concealers so far. And uh, the only thing, the only thing I don't like about it is that Look, remember I've shown you here, you can see how much of the product is left. And I would say, taking into consideration that I've used it less than two weeks, yeah? Um, well, it doesn't last you very long, does it? <laughs> so I think it's a very nice product. However, I would prefer if, you know, uh, it would last me a little bit longer than it does, but it's fine, I like it anyway. Um, I also want to tell you about the toner from Kills, which I bought yesterday. This one uh, is with calendula and um, it's herbal extract toner, it's alcohol free. I, I hope that you can see it. Um, I'm sitting nearby the window, so hey ho. Uh, and I've had another bottle of this, which I already finished, exactly the same toner. And I just wanted to demonstrate to you if I used 500 ml of this one and I purchased another one and I definitely must love it and my skin is sensitive however you know it's prone to redness and um, it's also shiny in the t-zone and this works really great for me it's very personal but pay attention this is a really good toner and it's uh, quite profitable to purchase uh, a big pack because this will last you for several months and also you can see it has really cool you know kind of herbs or, or plants in here or whatever you can call it um, and it smells of black tea and calendula and I really like it for me it has like a calming uh, calming floral fragrance not floral but I would say herb fragrance but you know not the one like Dr. Hauschka not the one which is quite annoying and uh, like a grass fragrance but this one has a really like a black tea and calendula fragrance which is very calming as well so next I want to mention you my new nail polish from Essie this one is in a shade um, Vanity Fairest Yes, and I really like it, I must say. Uh, I haven't got it on my nails, unfortunately, at the moment. I've had it a couple of days before, now I removed it. Um, so, it's a nude shade, but with a little bit of sheer, with a little bit of sparkle, which I really like. And it just makes your nails look polished and nice, you know, and neat, and it's really great for work. I really recommend it. Uh, next, moving on to body. Uh, so, I want to mention this beautiful, absolutely beautiful, you see just a little bit is left. Uh, it's a scrub, it's a sugar scrub from um, Branchy, from Australian Branchy, and I have purchased this in Tiki Max. And it smells of, it's called lemon and grapefruit, but obviously, you know, it has, um, let me read it properly for you, it has... Um, 
aloe vera, rosehip oil and mango extract and it really does leave your skin uh, very smooth and soft and you know exfoliated so and it smells just heavenly well I love it <laughs> I absolutely love it so I really recommend it to you it has a very very nice particles in it as well I definitely need to get another pack or maybe even two uh, also in the same shop in Tiki Max, oh my hands are now all sticky but it's fine, um, in the same shop in Tiki Max I've purchased Olivia Blake candles, I have two of them um, and they are just beautiful candles, I really like this brand, I've uh, discovered it recently and normally they're about £25 but I've purchased them for £5.99 each and they have a a very subtle aroma and I like the minimalistic design sometimes I used to like the chunky candles you know uh, kind of boho style but now I like the smart and elegant design and I keep one in the living room and one in the um, bedroom so they are really really great if you have access to Tiki Max please pay attention sometimes I have some in there and then just grab them because they go really really quickly uh, also in Tiki Max I have purchased so I think this turns from the favorites of June into homeverse video so I purchased some such thing it's a beautiful box and what I really like about it uh, besides that it has quite nice art deco vibes as you can see it has kind of missoni vibes to it um, before we used to have like all our grocery receipts or uh, you know just simply uh, receipts from some purchases just uh, you know hanging on the table and then uh, some coins in there as well and it used to really annoy me I'm sure many people know what I'm talking about you know so it used to be just everywhere random receipts from Marks and Spencer, Asda, you know Sainsbury etc etc so now I thought in order to make it look smarter and nicer and just not to irritate me anymore more. Uh, first drawer we use for the receipts as you can see it's quite full and second drawer we use for the small money. I'm not quite sure whether there's something in there currently. Yes, there is something in there. So we use it for the small money. So it's very very convenient and it doesn't take much space and we just put it on our um, writing table you call it I believe. So it's really really great and I really like it and it goes with the rest what we have in the room. So one last thing that I need to show you particularly would be my new Ray-Ban glasses and I really wanted to purchase them for a while now because I already have one which are classic kind of cat eye style and I really wanted to get something different and take a look how cool they are. I absolutely love them. They're exactly what I wanted, they're, you know, round shape and I love the neutral color which will go with almost everything. So, and the protection is, if I'm not mistaken, 3N, which is really good. But I've heard that Ray-Ban glasses, they don't do protection level any lower than uh, 3N actually. So, uh, what else I wanted to tell you, the music that I've been listening to lately, I've been listening to quite a lot of Fifth Harmony, uh, in June particularly I've listened to a lot of uh, their new song Flex, All In My Head, and I've also listened, um, what's the name I've written it down actually, Calvin Harris, This Is What You Came From, with Rihanna, their hit, and also I've listened to quite a lot of um, Yuna and um, Asher and their song Crush, and I think actually I was a little crush on Asher, <laughs> because he's so irresistibly cute, I, I think, uh, I think if I'd be single then I'd probably fall in love. Um, what else I wanted to say is that I watched some interesting movies such as uh, Paper Towns with uh, Cara and also uh, Hateful Eight which is Quentin Tarantino movie and also um, The Bridge of Spice which is uh, Spielberg's movie and I'm considering actually to make a special video maybe every month or so about the movies that I've seen because I'm really into movies I'm like a movie fan and for me this is one of the main choice in life as well I really love movies um, and I'm thinking of 
you know, sharing with you a little bit further about which movies did I like, which I didn't like and why. Uh, so let me know if this might be interesting for you. Otherwise, this is it for now, I think. I hope this tune has been good for you and uh, despite the weather, which in London was completely out of order, <laughs> I hope wherever you are, the weather is good and the most important that, you know, it's sunny in your heart. Uh, thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.